Hi Geminis and welcome to your May 2021 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here to talk to you about the energies coming in for you in the month of May. What a wonderful level up coming in for your sign. I am personally really looking forward to your season. I'm really looking forward to what the Gemini archetype has to offer during this airy year with Jupiter and Saturn being in Aquarius. It seems uh, likely that you will have a very smooth sailing experience, especially of your season. And it also seems likely that you're onto some kind of genius or you're onto some kind of really wonderful formula or some kind of really wonderful IP or... Um, you know, education or business idea. There's something about great ideas and great new smooth opportunities to bring those things to life are coming up. Um, it doesn't mean that things are perfectly easy. We've had a lot of Nine of Swords coming up this month, a lot of Swords energy for the last few months, actually. And I think that that's a symptom of adjusting to a very new uh, life, a very new way of being. And I think it's a symptom of um, basically wanting more or a symptom which, and, and this is kind of maybe an issue where things get problematic, is uh, struggling to be satisfied with the present moment. Um, I seem to keep coming back to that throughout this uh, cycle of readings. Um, you know, I think that dissatisfaction with the present moment has to be seen in a few different ways. Um, on one hand, we do have to be really honest and upfront with ourselves about how we've constructed uh, realities that we don't like, but on the other hand, we also have to be upfront with ourselves about insatiability and um, patterns of, you know, needing dissatisfaction to learn something. So uh, just getting into intuitive messages for you, Gemini, uh, before we go into the week to week, there needs to be something much more fun, much more enjoyable, much more warm and honest in your life. I'm really being pulled towards the sun and king of wands. So that second week of May is going to be beautiful for you, but you've also got ace of wands coming up. Um, so you are more creative than you think right now. I think that your creative needs might be more than you're thinking about. Um, try to not be too weighed down by the practical or the logical um, and think about the aspect of enjoyment. Think about the um, need for enjoyment and how that can be fostered, okay? Uh, Geminis who don't have fun in their life um, are not really doing something right because Gemini Sagittarius axis in astrology is the axis of fun, okay? It's the axis of uh, love, enjoyment, um, magnetism, and popularity, and... You know, it's a lucky axis. Third, ninth house axis is lucky. It's um, ambitious sometimes. It's very communicative and it enjoys the process of learning new things and having fun with that. Um, so what new things do you want to learn? I really think that Gemini has already thought of it. I think that most Geminis have already been getting inklings of, um, okay, I really want to devote some more time to this. I really want to reintroduce certain artistic or uh, creative hobbies that might now be profitable. We're in a very interesting paradigm right now, actually, where anything can be profitable. This isn't going to last forever. Uh, Jupiter and Saturn in Aquarius is the ultimate innovator. On one hand, we can think too business-mindedly about everything and kind of think, okay, how can I like monetize literally everything in my life? That's not the key. But it's really opportune during May and especially June of 2021 for Gemini to uh, think about what they enjoy and see if it's not possible for that to actually maybe start to give back to you in more material ways. Taurus, Gemini, Cancer season for you of this year seems to connect all of that. Um, and you don't want to get unrealistic expectations with it, though, either. You don't want to get too in your mind about it. You want those things to really start just getting physical, like just going into it, just doing the work, just starting to build those structures, um, and seeing if you still enjoy it in that context. Sometimes when we uh, turn like a creative hobby into a business, it can kind of invert. It can kind of start to become something that... Um, you know, has a different type of weight in our life. And I can tell you that personally, you know, I was a hobbyist, you know, astrologer and uh, intuitive long before I ever started doing YouTube and turned it into like a full business, you know. And I will say it starts to become very different and it starts to get pressurized and it starts to get like 
heavy, though there is a lot of great satisfaction in it as well, and I feel that it's helpful. Um, so it's just uh, also a matter, I think, of giving yourself new tones, giving yourself um, the luxury of experiencing certain things in new tones. Maybe you've been like a great artistic developer or like web developer or something, and you've just done it as a hobby. And now maybe you can start to take on clients or you can start to take on um, or even do applications with like a portfolio and do some maybe side level jobs and see if it's something that feels good. I just really think that Jim and I might need new sources of value. Hopefully that's resonating for someone out there. Um, getting outside of career, um, I think that it's really important also for Jim and I to have new people. Really uh, have no space for toxic people, okay? Let me say it again, Gemini. Let me repeat it just for those of you who didn't hear. No space for toxic people now. It seems so important, um, not just for your sign. I mean, for, nobody needs toxic people in their life, right? Uh, but there's something really unproductive about it in this year cycle. Um, and for Gemini, it really does feel like you um, can really be taken uh, derailed essentially by toxic people. You know, you get really excited about doing like the web development or whatever it is. And then you have these people in your life who are like, well, but you know, isn't that going to be hard? Isn't that going to mean that you have to like pay extra taxes? Doesn't that mean that, you know, um, you're not going to know when your money's coming in? And isn't that like really, you know, inconvenient? And wouldn't you rather just, you know, put in the nine to five job and, you know, have that consistency. And then basically you can be like convinced really easily by uh, people who um, tend to advise in that way. So uh, you need to be your own advisor right now. You need to understand what has and has not been enough in your life. Like, have you had enough of the nine to five scene? Have you had enough of the freelancer scene? Um, you need to let yourself determine that and not let other people's opinions determine that. Um, another intuitive message that I'm feeling for Gemini this season is that uh, this sort of new level of, I guess, determination in your life is going to probably uh, come with a little bit of indecision at first, but by your time of the year, like really getting into June, okay, I think that you're um, much more, I don't know, fun. Like things feel a lot more fun at that point in time and things feel a lot more enjoyable. And it's not just a matter of fun and enjoyable uh, experiences. It's also like things that are right for you or things that feel activating, you know, paths that activate your uh, feeling of purpose, I think inspire fun, you know, inspire feelings of enjoyment, give that dopamine experience in a healthy way. Um, paths that are constructed by other people or for the sake of uh, consistency only uh, might lead to more of a uh, disappointment or feeling of lack. So with that in mind, there might be a bit of a transition. You know, you've got Six of Swords coming up. You've got Nine of Swords. Both of those cards have been coming up a lot this month. Uh, so people are like just not really giving themselves the simplicity of a necessary transition. Many people are kind of... Um, letting this be hard instead of easy, you know, uh, letting this be much more a process of the mind than a process of physical action in the body. Um, I'm just kind of talking around potentials and the reward or merit of letting it be a much more body-centered, action-oriented time than a mind game, mind field, mind, mind experience, okay? Um, let's talk about your week-to-week, -week, Gemini. Week number one of May, you've got Queen of Pentacles rooted down by Six of Swords. A really authentic transition in the first week of May. It's that simple. There's an authentic, material, uh, healthy level of movement that you're having. So that's a great time to move house for those of you who already have that set up. It's a beautiful, beautiful window of time for um, a transition of diet, so a new health regime, a new health uh, regimen, a new uh, series of events relating to the health of your body to be undertaken and to really see a difference, okay? To set a timeline to see a difference as well. So three months from now, where do I want to be? Six months from now, where do I want to be? Am I okay with the moment, present moment, my experiences right now if, of life? Am I okay with it being this way six months from now? Is this and it could be yes or no, depending on where you're at. Like you might be like, yeah, I'm really good with where I'm at being where I am six months from now. But then for some, it might be more like, okay, um, if I was exactly where I am now, six months from now, that would be very disturbing to me. Um, so depending on your reaction to that, it's really good to think consecutively about the next six months. Um, 
I've always seen that Six of Swords uh, deals so much with six months from now, where do things stand? Okay, uh, so week number two, you've got the sun rooted down by King of Wands. That is wholesome. That is gorgeous. Okay, that is creative expansion, truth, honesty, healing, creative, creative growth, um, creative enjoyment okay enjoying the creative process not being daunted by the creative process not being overwhelmed by the creative process but enjoying it and seeing your vitality and knowing that the sun is about to go into gemini as well it's a good timing too um you're about to get your solar deposit meaning you're going to have more energy from around may 20th until june 21st you're going to have a lot more energy you're going to have a lot more vitality you're going to understand a lot more of uh, your purpose during that window. But it's interesting as you get into that third week with nine of swords rooted down by three of pentacles, it's interesting that you're um, maybe thinking things too harshly, okay? Um, and as you come from that really wholesome second week, this does typically happen. It's like, wow, I just saw a level of wholesomeness. Why didn't I give that to myself sooner? How do I maintain this? Try to avoid, or not avoid, but try to um, not get too stuck in the mentality of things. That's what keep, keeps coming through for Gemini this month is like, let it be more body oriented. Let it be more action oriented instead of just in the mind, like assembling chains of events in the mind versus getting into action. You know, if you have like a big project on your hands, like the need to renovate a house, the need to clean something, the need to make a big change, I think you got to take it one step at a time with one foot in front of the other instead of trying to map out the whole thing in your mind and getting overwhelmed, okay? A little bit of action without knowing the complete story is better now than mapping everything out in the mind, not taking action and getting overwhelmed by that knowledge, albeit correct as possible, you know? Um, it's rooted down by three of pentacles, so it feels like you might need assistance. You might need uh, people to help. You might need to hire out for like renovations. Or if you're like that freelancer, maybe it's time to have like an assistant or time to have um, the help of your peers or the help of other people in order to make some of this happen. Usually nine of swords means that we're taking on too much on our own. It means that we've signed up for too much as well and that there's a need to call on assistance uh, to rely on others perhaps to some degree. Week four, you've got five of pentacles reversed or down by ace of wands. So, um, you're getting past poverty consciousness. I love that five of pentacles is reversed because it suggests that you're not taking the cold road. You're not refusing the warm respite that you have right to your left, you know, like, you, like right there, you have like the warm church window, but you're not seeing it. You're, um, choosing the cold road is the archetype of five of pentacles. So you're seeing now where things can be easier. I'm amazed in this paradigm, how much people will choose that, which is stable, solid, secure, and self-determined over that, which is almost like divinely miraculous and offers them so much more, but doesn't have maybe a solid, guarantee in it. There's no right or wrong answer there, but I've talked a lot in, I think it was the Grand Taurus Stellium video about um, miraculous intervention and about, yes, we can't be over-reliant on that or try to control that process because it's not possible, um, but we have to be careful about establishing such delineated paths that there's no room for it. There's no room for any type of um, universal intervention either. That's rooted down by Ace of Wands. So again, creativity is going to warm up your path. You've got to get more creative. You've got to enjoy things more. You've got to do things that you like, okay? Um, it is not a good time of the year, you know, to um, just do the responsible frugal thing. It's leading to burnout for a lot of people. So um, in conclusion, Gemini, this month is all about warming things up, okay? For some of you, that might mean uh, new friends, uh, dating for those of you who are single, uh, doing things on impulse that are like healthy, um, doing things that are creative, so like artistry, design, um, what you just like doing, games even, uh, something that you've wanted to do. You, It feels like you've been depriving yourself of wants, okay? Uh, we don't want to get totally 
controlled by our wants either, but it feels like you've got to give it to yourself this month. Uh, things that are healthy, things that are for your creative expansion. And do not doubt in the expansion that is coming in your time of the year, especially in June. Anyway, Geminis, let's talk more about that expansion in your extended reading on Patreon. Um, I do weekly forecasts and all of these readings are early ad free and extended over there. The monthly membership is really reasonable. Um, so be sure to come and check that out. I'll link it below and in the center of the screen. Now, as always, your likes, comments, and subscribes here on YouTube make my day. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.